Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to see this watch for sale, please check out our website, thewatchbox.com, for additional photos, accessories, and of course, pricing for this watch. The timepiece on my wrist is the Omega Seamaster Diver 300 meter regatta coaxial chronograph. So, a modern regatta timer in a 44 millimeter stainless steel case. You can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it is easy to accommodate in spite of its girth. This is a watch that pushes the limits of my wrist, but I believe because of the shaping of the lugs and the bracelet profile, you could actually wear this watch on a wrist as small as 15 centimeters. So 44 millimeters across the round of the case, that's not including crown guard, crown chronograph pushers, or the helium escape valve. The timepiece is thick. There's no getting around that. 17.2 millimeters. It's not going to slip underneath the dress cuff. Lug to lug, the watch is broad. Uh, timepiece measures 51.7 millimeters across the wrist lug to lug, but if you do include the solid end links of the bracelet, you get a more robust measurement of 56.4. All the same, you're seeing it on a 16 centimeter wrist and it's fitting securely. I believe it actually looks pretty good. This would be a comfortable watch for me to wear. The bracelet is of high quality. It's the old Bond style five link design and you can see it still has the combination of satin finish and polish with squared off edges, albeit now with screws to size the bracelet. No more pins and sleeves here. Deployant clasp as you can see, twin trigger actuation for security. The clasp also includes a fold out dive extension which Remains one of the best in the business, even though its design dates back to the 1990s. This is a sharp assembly that inspires confidence on the wrist. Now let's get as close as we can. The timepiece features a number of elements that will be familiar, including the beveled case, polish on the bevel, satin finish on the flanks, helium escape valve, and you'll note not just the helium escape valve for saturation divers, but it also features a coaxial pusher inside the valve because this caliber 3330 is a converted value 7753 that's gone column wheel and coaxial. You lose the quick set function when you make the 90 degree rotation of the chronograph caliber. So this is a double function helium escape valve. You'll probably get more use out of the helium escape valve on this model than all other models combined in history. So this is a watch where the helium escape valve actually has a functional role in your daily use of the watch. If it runs down, you're going to need that setting pusher. The bezel is ceramic insert, unidirectional rotating and dive style. The ceramic effectively is scratch resistant as the sapphire crystal itself. And you'll note that the luminescent pearl can be lined up with the skeleton style minute hand so you can time something. At the same time, you are running the chronograph. Now the chronograph system uses what's known as a regatta profiling. It still gives you conventional 30 minutes and 12 hours as well as center chronograph seconds, but you'll note the calibration alongside the scale. It actually counts down from five to start. So if you are involved in match racing of sailboats, this is a wonderful example of a regatta timer that you can use on a daily basis and then take out with you on the water. Of course, you have the skeleton hands and the case profile that are redolent of James Bond circa late 90s, early 2000s. Pierce Brosnan made this look famous. The timepiece does feature a discrete date window at six o'clock. The pushers appear to be screw downs. They're not. They're always available for use even though the watch does still boast robust 300 meter water resistance. Screw down crown. The watch features hacking seconds, a silicon hairspring for anti-magnetism, a free sprung balance for resistance to shock and concussion, a 52 hour power reserve as well as column wheel operation. Two notable upgrades over the base 7753 caliber automatic winding. It also features the coaxial escapement system that's been integrated. So the watch is a COSC chronometer and it features the George Daniels coaxial escapement system. A watch chock-a-block with features and an iconic profile you can see and you can own this Omega Seamaster 300 meter diver regatta timer on our website. Omega Seamaster Professional Diver 300 meter regatta chronograph. You'll note the distinction between the minute hand, the bezel in green luminescence, and the blue used everywhere else to make this one a snap to a line should you desire to use it as a timing mechanism in the dark. You can see this Seamaster Diver 300 meter regatta chronograph by day on our website.